Hello, my name's Cooper, and today I'm gonna to be giving you guys a quick breakdown on a recent project that we did for a client of ours, Lillian Cabinets. So when they first approached us, uh, they were looking for a video to highlight a piece of software that they actually developed for their online e-commerce website. So they sell cabinets and a bunch of other stuff for kitchens and they have a 3D design tool uh, that's a VR tool that you can use to try out different cabinets and see them in your space before you're actually ready to make the purchase. And so uh, they came to us and said, hey, we have this awesome tool and we want to show it off and show the benefits of it um, as well as just act as an overall promotional piece for it. And so our video is really gonna focus on two main things. One is what you can expect when using the tool step by step. The other is just showing people how easy it is and how much it really elevates the uh, customer experience when using it. So when we start planning out the narrative and storyline of the video, the very first thing we're constantly doing is taking into consideration the scope of the project. If you come up with this great idea and it's way out of scope, uh, then it doesn't do you any good. And so the scope that we had for this was a single location. Initially, we wanted to have a couple different ones inside a house, inside a showroom, inside uh, their manufacturing facility. Uh, but very quickly it was, no, we had one location that we had to make work. And so after kind of thinking things through, what we came up with is we could pull this off by shooting the entire entire thing right inside of their showroom. What this allowed us to do is show the experience that a person could go through if you were to go into the showroom and be taken through this process. Uh, you get to see various different kitchens, uh, but the showroom actually had a couple different locations that we could kind of segment out and have separate scenes in that felt different than the actual showroom that people may not realize was there. So that was really the big thing was honestly coming up with that storyline that fits within the production strategy that we outlined and the end result I'm really happy with and I think it worked out well. Another way that we addressed the limitations of only having a single location was the implementation of animation and graphics. This piece really does have a lot of different types of media in it. Um, and that was very intentional, again, to, to provide visual a diversity of what you're seeing in it. So we developed some very cool motion graphics that were used in the middle and the end. Uh, we implemented actual screen capture of what the VR experience of their design tool looks like so people know exactly what to expect. Another thing we did was bring in this awesome 3D animator uh, to help us bring the intro animation piece to life. The intro piece was super important because it did so much for the video. A, it brought people into it uh, in a very visually interesting way. The other thing it really did was nail home the problem, which in this instance was there are so many options, it's hard to choose what you want for your kitchen, especially when you can't visualize it. But what's cool is it showed the, the idea of having too many options, but then it worked into why the tool is superior, which is it's way better than the competitors that are only putting out black and white 2D sketches. And so really what that does is ultimately just speaks into the value of this 3D design tool that Lillian has. Another thing while on the topic of all the mixed media that we had in this project was the utilization of the actual screen capture of what the VR experience is like. When you see that phone coming around, uh, that's actually green screen. And so we composited the actual screen capture onto that. Uh, and we did that for a couple different things. I think one, it was just an interesting transition to bring you into that world, but also it's really important for people to see the actual tool that they're gonna be using so they know what to expect. When it comes to the overall tone and the lighting and camera movements that we decide to use, we really let the client's brand be the guiding factor for that. So in this case, they're family owned. And so we really wanted them to uh, just come across as very warm and inviting. We went for the little bit more high key look that also managed manifested itself in our voiceover decision. So we just wanted someone that sounded very nice and sweet and kind. I think sometimes with VOs, you can have this overly professional feel to it. And we definitely didn't want that because I, I think sometimes that feels uh, just not relatable enough. And so we really did want someone that can bring in a good conversational tone and, and really feel like they just fit into the family of Lillian. In conclusion, I'm super happy with how it turned out. You know, we did have a lot of different media types in this, and I think it all did end up flowing together really nicely and creating a very cohesive piece that was just interesting and engaging and, and clearly explained what this product is and why it's superior compared to what everyone else is doing. I hope you guys enjoyed this little breakdown be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We post behind the scenes stuff there all the time and I know we'll have more of these breakdowns coming out in the future. Thank you.